Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, this is Steven from Konosenza Tech and today I just wanted to make a quick video just to show you guys around Windows 8 a little bit which we're going to be using for our Konos table machines. Yes, the touch computers or surface computers, however you want to call them. Um, well, basically you might have seen this UI before. Um, uh, I'm sure you've been browsing the web and uh, if you don't know what Windows 8 is, I really doubt that you found this video. Yeah, so uh, so first of all, um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of the applications that they have in this wonderful um, system. Um, which one? Well, first of all, let's go with the like maybe the main one, which is the Windows Store, because uh, Windows haven't really had like that kind of iTunes-ish or Apple App Store type of stuff going on before. So it's really nice that they've implemented implemented that. Sorry, um, into the software. I really like it. You know, it's really neat. It's really uh, pure. You know, and, uh, not too much uh, of useless stuff. You know, let's say I want to download uh, this app, whatever that is. You can. You know, you have uh, you can scroll through, you know, and see a couple of screenshots of the software in action. And uh, you know it's always interesting to have a little bit of description, you know. And uh, for right now it's in French, uh, in certain parts, you know, like in here, like the titles and stuff. You can see like, you know, and my commands are in French, because I installed the the, the software in French, because I am French. Yep, I'm that guy. Um. So yeah, basically that's it. You know, there's not too much to see about. Um, the Windows Store, but you know, you, I'm pretty sure you get what it is, you know, and uh, uh, there's nothing really too in depth about it. And one thing I did notice that they have, you know, sections like security, like this, and they have absolutely no app for the the category, which is not so cool. But at the same time, you know, I feel like this is a great opportunity for, you know, young developers to uh, hop in and, you know, maybe develop something nice so that we can use and um, I might do another video showing you guys how you can build up your own app using whatever language you like and then uploading it to the Windows Store which is really thoroughly simple um, all you really need is um, you know any type of uh, 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 programming skills and you know you, you can just uh, build yourself a directing directing team and you know, maybe you'll be able to push something nice and upload it to the Windows Store. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with this game, um, Fruit Ninja. You know, and uh, it's really incredibly simple, but also incredibly entertaining and addictive. So you basically just cut fruits. And I really suck at it. <laughs> as basic as it is. Oh wow, I really suck at this game. So yeah, that's basically it, you know, there's not really much um, to it either. And uh, another feature that I really like about this whole UI is that you can just pinch and uh, zoom in and zoom out on the, you know, the, the little menu here, the start menu and you can rename any kind of application um, group to whatever you like so let's say I just want to rename this one I just drag it down a little bit tap on here and then I bring up the keyboard and I say let's say uh, lol press enter and there you have it it's called lol now and you know of course I can rename it to whatever I want and have it name um, Konos you know stuff like that it's really nice you know for especially when you have many 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 applications and uh, when I first had the the, the whole system you know I, I really found myself to be downloading a lot of applications which I have to remove some I know but um what can I say I'm addicted to apps you know and also like for the um, commands you know they're really simple like I showed you you just press on it and you know just like slide down like this and you can just 
take it out of the menu. Boop. There you have it. You know, stuff like this. And you can just, uh, you know, have them placed however you want. But let's say if I want to make this app. Um, no, this is not what I want to do. Let's say I just want to take this app. Where is it? Where is it at? There it is. Drag it down a little bit. And boom, I can resize it to make it a little bit smaller. Also, quick note, not every app is going to have that feature uh, simply because not every developer um, has developed their app for Windows 8. But, you know, it's still a, still a really nice feature for the brand new apps that are coming onto it. And one thing that I really liked about it, um, the whole UI, is that everything is so snappy, you know, like, if I want to go into my daily motion app, I just boom, open daily motion and you know, whatever. I really like the way that it feels, you know, it's really simple, really pure. You know, I have like all sorts of things and um, that are way more, you know, e efficiently placed on the screen, you know, and especially like I've, I've noticed that with the Metro UI, you have um, many, many, many developers going for the most simple, more simple um, UI scheme. So, you know, like you only have like little squares like this, you know, that you can just tap on and watch whatever video you like. And, you know, you have the title up there and, you know, it's really simple and I like it simply because it's pure. You don't have lots of uh, crap all around the screen and, you know, it makes everything much more efficient. Also, uh, another great feature about the Metro UI is uh, the search search function, which you just press up here. And uh, you can bring it up if you're using a keyboard and mouse. You can just start typing, and it will bring up the search if you're on the start menu. But um, yeah, you can just go ahead in here, and you know, like as you can see, I have lots of applications. Sometimes you don't want to look for them. You just want to type in, let's say, uh, I don't know, music. You know, and I can just boom, boom. So now we're in the music app. Um. Everything is really, you know, Metro-ish. As you can see, there's nothing really complicated to it. You know, you have uh, like the, the now playing section and you know, the rest of your albums, stuff like that. What I really like is that you can just click on it, uh, whatever album you have, and you know, you have that nice little sleek menu to it and um, makes everything really easy to find. And especially like when you have lots of music, you know, and you really want to search things makes it very easy and one thing that's really nice about the Metro UI and on Windows 8 is simply that let's say I'm in the music app if I go on the search uh, function it'll search music as you can see up there so like let's say I'm, I have a song called uh, I don't know uh, I have a song by Kanye you know I'll just have Kanye and whatever Kanye song I have they'll bring up you know which is really neat. I really like that. And it's a really cool feature, if, especially if you don't want to go like on Google and then, you know, you have to open up the browser and then after that you look over um, multiple websites. You know, you can just have everything right there. So it's really neat. It's really nice. I love it. Um, another great thing is the weather app. The AccuWeather app, actually. AccuWeather.com. It's a really cool website. But um, this application really brings it out. You know, it makes it really easy to use. I find myself to be using it every day, um, especially since I have my Kono stable on standby every day. Um, and as soon as I open the computer, like this is what I see in the morning. So, you know, I can like directly see how is the weather forecast. So, yeah, so that's, that's the weather forecast where I am. And you can just, you know, tap on a period of the day, uh, well, period of the week. And just you know scroll through and see whatever weather you have for that particular day and it's really neat really like it um what else do we have that is noteworthy you know well you have you have um, another weather app which um you know it's nice but it's not as nice um, as AccuWeathers especially for things like this like Bing has um, some kind of issue right now with their servers you know and stuff like this really happens a lot I don't know why maybe they're working on some stuff but you know that's what happens and um, 
there's also a browser I, I might want to show you the browser it's a really nice feature um let's just say I go uh, and uh, on YouTube let's say I go on YouTube I do whatever um, I don't know uh, I go on this section right there you know what I really like about this browser the brand new browser for Windows 8 is that you can just boom like scroll left and you, you're back on the other page like on the page you were on before and it's really nice really neat feature it loads really fast and um, I really like how it's made because it makes everything so simple you know and if you want to bring up the menu like let's say I'm doing some other stuff and blah 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 and I just want to bring up the menu again I just scroll from the top down or from the bottom up and then I have this little menu and I can just type in whatever I want wonderful also guys uh, something I really wanted to show you is uh, how you can switch between apps you know it's really simple you basically just stick your finger and you, you like press on the um, extreme left of the screen and you just drag like uh, towards the right and you know you bring out the, the 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 next application basically that you have loaded also if you have multiple applications loaded and you just want to pick out one of them and I don't know maybe exit that application you can just bring out the left menu and then bring it right back in and it's gonna bring up this little column and then you're gonna be able to pinpoint one application drag it in you can drag it to the bottom if you want to close it or put it there if you want if you really want to have the focus on that application it's really simple it's really nice um, really fast you know as you can see it doesn't really lag and I really like the whole way like they did this also they have um, this other feature which is kinda like the left um, switching app thingy but it's on the right all you do is that you put your finger on the right and then you you know just swipe inwards boom and then you have uh, this little menu where you can search things or share things you can press on the uh, start menu icon you know and you have your little um, you know things that let's say you have your iPhone connected you can just have that you know uh, right there and they'll tell you whatever's connected to your computer right now all I have is the second screen so that's what's showing up right now but you know you get the gist of it and you also have your settings right there at the bottom you know volume up and down it's really nice um, the Wi-Fi connection also you have the keyboard uh, or you have like the you know shutting down menu um, again mine is in French so you might not get whatever is written in there but you get the gist of it so yeah um, basically that's it also guys if you want to get a chance to win one of these wonderful Konos table surface computers all you have to do basically is just go onto my channel subscribe leave a comment on any one of my videos and then I'm gonna be picking randomly like a lucky viewer and just send him one of my machines or her and uh, yeah basically if you like this video also you can give it a thumbs up please and uh, leave me some comments I always like to read feedback and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one